Hello, Scott Warner here, Melodic Insights. I'm gonna show you some cool left-handed exercises and then I'll show you later how to add the right hand into them. But basically this will work for any key, anything, okay? You just, it's just the same fingering for any key you do, major and minor, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is minor. You're gonna start out the octave, okay? And then you're gonna cross over. Then you're gonna go to the major. So I'm adding a little different at the end because the first one I went but then the other one I went and you can also do see what I'm saying so you can kind of change up how you want to do that little ending part just to get to the next key practice so coming down like so you're coming from from here and from the third to the uh, to the octave lower to close it okay That's your left hand. Now you can do it in any key, right? I usually like to go from major to minor, major to minor, just like in my exercises that like when I'm doing arpeggios, I'll start in A minor, C major, E minor, G major, then I'll come down to B minor. as an example okay and uh, let's see so now if you want to make that into music and you notice I use the same fingering for all those for all those scales right um, so let's see can you even see the right hand well you can add it to I'll show you the right hand in a second Again, this is just it's real basic chords. Once you like, I'm telling you how. Maybe I never released it yet, but I've been working on a four-note code or four-note chord. Well, once you know all those, then basically you do the extras I'm telling you about. So you still can't even see. Wow. So. So with the G sharp minor one, the one that comes up like this, you go. And I'm not playing the three at all. So it's like this slow motion.
haven't really made up anything else past that, but you can, you get the idea, and it, you can make it sound kind of cool. Like I thought that was cool. I thought it sounds epic. inside Scott Warner hope you got value out of this exercise if you have any questions let me know in the comments below subscribe if you like these videos and looking to help you out and anybody trying to get better at their music game all right and this doesn't matter this applies to any kind of music all right classical which is what I'm doing but I'm also been learning a little jazz Right, so like, it's just however you're, you're training, whatever you like to hear. So you can like apply all this to all, all the keys, even the jazz skills. Scott Warner out, Melodic Insights.